in a moment tonight, I want to end with a quote from George Herbert, who says, good words are worth much more and cost little. And just think about that for a second. Let that marinate. Good words are worth much and cost little. It costs a little to say, I love you. It costs a little to say, I'm proud of you. It costs a little to say, you're doing a great job. It costs a little to say, thank you. Or, have a great day. Or, it was great seeing you today. Easy. But they're worth so much. And, and I think about this from the perspective of you never ever know what the person around you is going through. You never know. You never, never, never know. And there, it happens all the time. There are days where you don't know that your coworker has lost two of their closest friends. Or there's days where you never know that, uh, you know, it could be the anniversary of somebody's death of their daughter or their son or their husband and you going in their office or you going to their cubicle or you go call them on the phone and saying, hey, I was thinking about you and I want to let you know I care about you. I appreciate you. I'm happy that you are alive. I'm happy that you're in my life. And what that means to that person. How you can minister to them by saying just hello. And we don't do that enough. And I think as our culture becomes more and more electronic and more and more iPad, iPod focused, headphones always in, we spend a lot of our times in silence. I think about commuting on the DC Metro rail. On the metro, you can hear a pin drop in the train car because everybody has their headphones on. We've become such a non-social society. You have no idea what other people are going through. You have no idea what the situation they're in. And we don't communicate with each other because we are so used to using our phones that we sort of lost the essence of being a human and the human touch and the human feeling and the human emotion. That good words are worth even more, and that I, I would argue. Because when you're on the metro and you say to the person next to you, how's your day going? The fact that you stopped her, hi, good morning, it's good to see you. What, the dif what difference that makes when nobody else is doing it because you can hear a pin car on the train. So I say all that to say to you today is tomorrow or wherever you see this video, call somebody that's close to you. Hell, go to the, bum, the, the, the homeless person on the corner and say, hey, it's good to see you. How are you doing? God bless you. Or have a great day. Or hope the, I hope the sun shines on you today. Okay? Just do it. I hope something good happens to you today. I guarantee you, like I always tell you, the, the universe is cyclical. You do it, you get it, return to you, tell foe. But beyond that, what you're ministering to them could ultimately take them from the brink. They could be getting ready to commit suicide. They could be getting ready to go into severe depression. And you talking to them saved them. Think about that. Think about the ministry you can have by saying one or two words to somebody. Just saying hello, saying good morning, the difference I can make in their life.